The opening track of the album Let It Be, Two of Us, has its origins not only within the Beatles, but also with Linda McCartney. When she was a child, she loved getting lost and exploring new areas. She found this difficult to do in the U.S., however, as there were always road signs and markers to help you find your way back. When she got older and began a relationship with Paul, that all changed. She said, We would put Martha in the back of the car and drive out of London. As soon as we were on the open road, I'd say, Let's get lost, and we'd keep driving without looking at any signs. Hence the line in the song, Two of Us Going Nowhere. Paul wrote two of us on one of those days out. It's about us. We just pulled off in a woods somewhere and parked the car. I went off walking while Paul sat in the car and just started writing. They would also send postcards to each other, which is also referenced in the track. In addition to Paul and Linda, the song obviously is about the relationship between Paul and John. They make reference to their friendship and songwriting partnership. In a way, this makes the track a transitional piece, as they are moving on from the Beatles and into their own lives with Yoko and Linda, respectively. It starts the album out on the right foot by acknowledging that yes, this most likely is the end, but to make it a celebration rather than a funeral. Speaking of introductions, the intro to this song is taken from some in-studio chatter of John just goofing around. Paul wanted to give the song to the group Mortimer, who were due to sign with Apple, but never did. It's heavily featured in the films Let It Be and Get Back, showing Paul and John singing into the same microphone. At the time, the song was known as On Our Way Home. You get a real sense of play between the two, and it's an interesting peek at how they would riff off each other. It was always intended to be included in both the film and the record. During filming of the band working on the song, there was a heated exchange between Paul and George, during which Paul said, This one is like, shall we play guitars through Hey Jude? Well, I don't think we should. To which George replied, Okay, well, I don't mind. I'll play, you know, whatever you want me to play. Or I won't play at all if you don't want me to play. Whatever it is that'll please you, I'll do it. Again, showing that while the song was a beat, it was acknowledging the end of a working and friendly relationship for the time being. I still remember the first time I heard this track, and I don't think I ever smiled so quickly while listening to a song. There's just something so sentimentally sweet about this track and its playfulness. Whether that relationship is between friends, family, or lovers, we can all connect with this track in some way, and its desire for fanciful freedom and getting lost in our wild, wild world. The content on this channel is made possible from viewers like you. Help the channel grow by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.